Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and in this short video uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a, 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 a survey or the results of a survey okay, uh, and how to I suppose code them up within SPSS. Okay? This actual video is actually for a particular class that I'm actually teaching at the moment. Uh, it's a BA Honours in Strategy Practice in Human Resource Management. Uh, so this particular, uh, this particular example uh, that I'm going to use is a data set that them students have actually been using. Uh, I have an Excel, I have an, an Excel file here. Uh, I'll just show you this. Okay, uh, this Excel file represents the results. I suppose it's actually it's actually the results of a fictitious company where there's one thousand eight hundred employees. Uh, each record, each row represents the the information associated with a particular employee within this particular organization. Uh, you can see that the first record here, maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger so that we can actually see this here, yeah, okay. So you can actually see that the first record here represents the employee number, okay. So for the first employee, his number is 591305. Uh, the, second, the second column represents the gender. And the genders are coded as 1 and 0. And I'll just go back up to the top here, you can actually see that I have 0 represents it's a male and 1 represents female. So for this particular respondent here, or this particular employee, this employee is actually is actually a female. Okay, uh, this, the third column here represents the age of the employee, and once again you can see the coding here. The values zero represents twenty to thirty years, and uh, one represents thirty to forty years, and so on and so forth. So the first employee here uh, is age twenty to thirty. The length of service you can see is a one here. One represents two years of service. The highest level of education you can see it's a seven here. So this employee actually holds an ordinary degree. Uh, is this employee in the pension? Well, it's the code is a zero here, which represents no. Uh, uh, are they a salaried worker or are they early paid? In this case, this, this employee is an early paid worker, and so on. And we have all these variables. We have their actual salary, uh, their yearly remuneration. I suppose coded up in as a categorical variable. Okay. Okay, here's we have the categories. This salary value here is now coded as zero because it falls between well it actually doesn't fall between 20, 20 and forty thousand there. And uh, let's just see here what's going on. Actually, they all should be well, I'm just actually gonna ch change this here just actually to ten thousand. That actually sorts that out. So it's called a ten thousand to forty thousand is a zero, yeah, which these actually fall all in, in that in that range. Uh, the hours per work, uh two indicating twenty five hours a week. Plus uh, one indicating 20 to 25 hours, 20 to 25 hours, and zero indicating zero to 20 hours a week. How much overtime they've completed is the next variable. Uh, their annual leave entitlement, how many days they take get get are entitled to each year, 30 days, 25 days, or 21 days. Uh, the amount of annual leaves that they've taken, whether they've taken it all or they haven't taken it all, and finally, uh, how much sick leave have they taken? Okay. The purpose of this particular data set, okay, this set of records here, this 1,800 employees. Is actually a project that my uh, class is actually working on at the moment, and there's, every student is going to choose a number of variables from this particular data set. Number of variables meaning they're going to choose a number of columns, okay, that they're interested in, and they're going to do a statistical analysis analysis on on, on those particular variables. So, for example, uh, a question that they might try to answer is whether there is differences in the rates of pay of males compared to females. In other words, is there evidence to suggest? As an example, is there evidence to suggest that males are paid more than females within this organization? So you can see we know their gender and we also know their salary. So that's actually quite easy to do statistically. But I'm not actually going to concentrate on that here at this this stage. But what I do want to do is I want to take all of this data, all of this, all of this information, okay? Or maybe I should just point out also is that from a statistical perspective, every variable, okay, every variable has a natural scale of measure associated with it. And the four typical scales of measure are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Within SPSS, there's actually three scales that are recorded of measure, yeah, nominal, ordinal, and scale. The scale within SPSS representing an interval or a ratio scale. So employee number is actually a nominal variable, okay, there's no natural order between employees numbers. Gender is also nominal. There's no natural order between males and females. Males aren't any more important than females, and females aren't any more important than males. But the age categories, you can see that age, zeros, ones, and twos, whether I'm in 20 to, 20 to 30 year olds are younger than 30 to 40 year olds, which are younger than 40 to 50 year olds. So there is a way of recording that from a an ordinal perspective and so on so every variable here I've actually provided the name of the variable there it is employee number and I've also provided the scale of measure I provided the name 
the scale of measure, the name of the variable, the scale of measure, the name of the variable, the scale of measure, the name of the variable, the scale of measure. And in most cases, where the variable has particular values, okay, uh, we've also provided the actual values for those particular variables. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take all of this data, okay, so I'm just going to take all of this data here, uh, out of here, okay, I'm just going to copy it, oops, let me just, what's happening on here? <clears throat> Okay, so what, what I want to do is I want to copy all of this data. Okay, let me just go down to the end here. Okay. That's going to take a bit of time. Uh, actually, I should have function shift down. I think it should bring me down to the end. Let me just actually go down to the end of the data set here. Oops, sorry, I'm going to back up. Oh, I'm losing that. Let's just find the end here. Okay. 1, There's about 1,800 responses here, or 1,000, 